Minister, in many parts of our country, infrastructure is greatly lacking, leaving so many towns and villages dying a debt, and nowhere, nowhere more than West Cork is this evident. Uh, it is a case of a complete lack of investment by successor governments, have left two bypasses promised to people abandoned unfinished, one bypass in Shannon unfinished, or not, not even started, and a promised bypass in Bantry not even started, and not one passing bay built in decades, crippling car motors to tractor and lorry pace through all main roads in West Cork. We see our great town of Bantry in West Cork flooded once again two weeks ago as a promised flood relief scheme for up to 30 years remains undone. But today I want to concentrate on the lack of investment in wastewater treatment plants by Ishka uh, Minister Shannon Vale in County has raw sewage bursting out of an outdated wastewater treatment system onto what is supposed to be a children's play park, which is now blocked off. The stinking substance leaches into the Argadine River close to the intake pipe for County drinking water. This is going on for 27 years. Head West of Cabri, Minister, and hugely famous Warren Beach, which was closed up uh, to the public this year because of bacteria was found in the bathing water, where people could clearly see uh, suspended solids in the water, all due to the wastewater treatment tank in need of upgrading. We can travel down the road to Dunmanway, as outdated uh, wastewater treatment plant, which had a continuous discharge of sewage into the Bendon River during the summer. This outdated treatment plant is at capacity, thus preventing a thriving town to grow, and all development has been stopped in the town for how many years ahead, we do not know. Head west to Ballad Hub, where an overloaded outdated wastewater treatment tank pours raw sewage directly into the estuary. Uh, this tank has failed the test for several emission level values every year since 2015, and nothing's done. Head west further to Goline. Outdated uh, Goline's outdated uh, wastewater treatment plant, which was shown to the council, who were then in charge in 1999 to have raw sewage entering the local water from the tank, and at that time needed to be addressed, and nothing has happened since. I have attended numerous public meetings, Minister, during the summer in these towns, and there is huge anger. We have met with Ishgairn, and each time we are told it may or may not be in their plans for 25 to 29, while all these plants keep pouring raw sewage into the sea. And all this time, the EPA are not to be found anywhere. I recently called on the EPA to furnish me with the report from Shannon Vale for 27 years to be given a report going back a few months, leading me to ask the question, what are they hiding? Minister, what do we tell these communities when we canvass them in the general election? Ross Carberry waiting 10 years, Dunmanway 15 years, Balladahab 20 years, Goline 25 years, and Shannon Vale 27 years waiting for proper wastewater treatment plans. Can we tell them? You, Minister, will personally intervene with the They can't be left hide behind this nonsense. I hear scientific evidence is needed. Raw sewage out of a wastewater treatment plant is simply raw sewage. Minister, will you step up in and set up a task force led by yourself that w within six months will give clear dates for the start and completion of these urgent products, projects in West Cork. Thank you very much. Uh, so for the uh, uh, members of those uh, towns and communities uh, that are affected by the issues that Deputy Collins has referred to, uh, I want to tell them directly that I'm not in a position to come into the Dáil here today and to be able to give a very specific answer on the status of wastewater treatment plants for different towns and villages within our country. Uh, if you had given me an indication that you were going to raise these specific towns beforehand, I could have done that. Uh, but you know that it's very difficult for anybody to come in here today and be able to directly answer questions regarding specific projects for very specific towns that are valued both by you and by all who represent that constituency. So what I can say generally in relation to the issue that you've raised is that in Budget 2025, when Minister Chambers and I were making decisions regarding the allocation of a further €3 billion Euro that has been generated by the sale of shares in banks that our country has owned for some time, we have highlighted that further funding be made available to Irish Water is a top priority for that money. And the reason why we are doing that is our recognition that the, uh, of the need for further investment in our water and further investment in the wastewater treatment plants that can make a difference to the quality of life of those who you represent and who you are raising here today and also with regard to the provision of homes in those areas because we accept 
that more needs to be done in that area, while also saying that Irish water are making important and valuable changes in the quality of wastewater treatment plants within our country. So I can give the commitment here today, Count Corla, as has been outlined in the budget, that further funding will be made available for that area. And then in foot of the issue that's been raised here by Deputy Collins, um, of course, uh, I'll uh, certainly pass on to Minister O'Brien the issue that has been raised there and how we can respond back uh, to those lovely and those important parts of your community getting the investment that they need. <coughs> Thank you uh, very much, uh, Minister. Um, what is wrong, I'd, I'd like to ask you, with Ishgairn, because you are saying you're uh, uh, pouring money into Ishgairn, but it's, um, uh, if, they, if they were moving at snail's pace, some of these towns would have their wastewater treatment plants built, but they are not even moving at that pace. Uh, it can't be money, as we have offered in some of those towns that I mentioned, co-funding to speed up the process to get the plants built, but it makes no difference. Minister of Finger of Blame has far too long been pointed at farmers by this government being the culprits for contamination of our waters and every power that be have been watching every move they have made when we know, now know who is the main culprit for contaminating our clean waters. Uh, and that is the state, Anishka Aaron, aided and abetted by the EP. I again ask you on behalf of the people of West Cork, and you said I didn't furnish you with the information. I respect that I didn't. But I will ask you, maybe you will personally intervene. You did say you would speak to Minister O'Brien. I appreciate that, because anything at all that will help to bring this up along the line. But I think that we need to set up a task force, uh, Minister. Six months, not one of these ones where you kick the can down the road and there's no answer. I can't, the parents telling me, their children have drank raw sewage from these tanks when they swam to be Seriously, we need action in West Cork now, not kick the can down the road, Minister. Uh, so we do need action, but I think we also deserve uh, some uh, honesty in relation to the work of Ishka Aaron. I think you suggested in your second question to me that they were in some way the culprit in relation to this. Sure, Ishka Aaron are the organisation that offer the best hope that we have of resolving to this issue. And it's a great dishonesty to, on one hand, say we want progress to be made in the area, and then the men and women who work in the organisation that are capable of making the difference, that's the same organisation that you condemn. That isn't a recipe for progress. It's not a recipe for a solution. And I want to offer my full support to the work that Ishgar and do to say that why we will all remember the difficulty involved in setting up that organisation. It's only through a unitary water authority like that body that we will be able to put in place the investment in scale that is needed to ensure that Ireland has safe water in the scale and quantity that we will need in the years ahead. And I reiterate what I said a moment ago, I think you do the issue a great disservice that for the organisation who's best placed to provide the solution that you look for, you refer to them as in some way being the culprit. Thank you, Minister.